So with blood pressure specifically, can anybody define what blood pressure is? What is blood pressure? Yeah, what is blood pressure? Go ahead. It is the pressure exerted by the blood on the arches. All right. And where is the origin of this blood pressure? Pardon me? What's the origin of this blood pressure? The origin? Yeah. So it's As in where it's coming from? Yeah, where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. The left ventricle, okay. isn't it? Or the mm -hmm. aorta? Yeah, the left ventricle. So the force that pushes it, the left ventricle pushes the blood, right? And causes the, the ripples within the arches themselves, right? That, not ripples, but the pressure within the arches comes from there, right? So the blood pressure is the force exerted by the circulating blood on the walls of the, of the, of the vessels, right? Primarily the arches. The critical indicator of cardiovascular health is typically used to measure, usually measured in millimeters of mercury. That's why I use millimeters of mercury for all the pressures in the heart. Right? The components of blood pressure we know have the systolic pressure and our diastolic pressure, right? So the higher number, right? Right, that's the number usually on top. Well, the higher number rather representing the pressure in the arteries when the heart ventricles contract the systole, right? And diastole is a lower number representing the heart, well, the pressure in the each arteries when the heart um, is at rest, right? So looking at arterial pressure when it's at in systole and diastole, right? Um, could anybody tell me what is regular um, adult blood pressure? Is it 140 over 90? 140 over 90. Mm, not necessarily, no. Where did that? Hmm, that's interesting. Is that adult? It may not be adult. Go ahead. Or oh, somebody took it in chat, but go ahead. Uh, 80. 120 over 80. The 190 over 40 though. What is 190 over 40? That's interesting. It it feels like it's an the thing is no. <laughs> if you have anything greater, it's hypertensive. Anything greater over one you see, when you go by like 180 over 120 and those type of things, though, that's a hypertensive crest and can lead to myocardial infarction. Right? But 90, I'm not sure about that. 90 over 40. If it's not, not 90 over 40, not 190 over 40, but 90 over 40 is high potential. I'm not sure where you get the 190 over 40. Right? But blood, um, normal blood pressure ranges, right? So normal systolic is on basically 120 over 180 right 120 for the diastolic um for the systolic rather 180 for well not uh i'm mixing up myself 120 for systolic and 80 for diastolic elevated is usually from 120 to 129 for systolic and around 80 for diastolic right hypertension is 130 to 139 so basically i don't have to read this in the slide though because it's generally oh this is where you get the 140 over 90 that is the hypertensive state part two, part two. Right? That's the hypertensive state part stage two. So looking at different type of hypertensive states, you have stage one, stage two, and you have a hypertensive track, um, crisis that can lead to a myocardial infarction, right? Or a stroke or anything like that. Okay. So the importance of blood pressure um look at that blood pressure, um high blood pressure hypertension can lead to serious health. Issues such as heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, and the vision loss. And we have low blood pressure, right? Hypotension that can cause dizziness, fainting, and severe case in severe cases, shock, right? So those type of things can be induced, right? Factors that influence blood pressure now, the age of the person, right? The lifestyle, the diet that they have, the alcohol consumption, smoking, all of these things, the lifestyle, right, can affect different lifestyle diseases, the prevalence of lifestyle diseases can increase. Um, 
um, issues with blood pressure, right? Or look at obesity and hypertension and stuff like that, right? Genetics, no, the family history of hypertension can increase the risk, right, of these um, hypertensive issues, right? Stress as well, chronic stress can contribute to elevated blood pressure and medical conditions, right? So conditions such as diabetes, kidney disease, and can impact the blood pressure, right? So these are some important things to note, okay? Managing it now, when you need a healthy diet, you know you need regular exercise, Avoiding any type of risk, um, tobacco or anything like that, any type of general drugs that will affect the heart rate. Remember, that nicotine increases heart rate, you know, so all the smoking, reg regular cigarette smoking, tobacco, those type of things can affect the heart rate, right? We have the limiting alcohol usage, right? So, notice that never say enough to drink alcohol, you know, right? That's a preference on you and your culture and how you are growing. But limit the alcohol usage, it should be good. Excessive alcohol. Right, can actually increase the blood pressure, right? Because we're going to look at acidosis and all of those type of things, right? You also have medications. Some medications can increase the chances of having high blood pressure, right? Or having blood pressure issues, all right? So remember, not only high blood pressure is an issue, no, low blood pressure is also an issue, okay? That's generally it because the syllabus asks us to look at blood pressure, look at normal blood pressure ranges, right? And then look at the factors that can affect blood pressure. That is generally it. Syllabus is asking us to look at.